You have failed your mission on the dark side. We will now execute Order 66. Yeah, all right. Uh, that was uh, that was uh, my my impression of the emperor because you know he he shows up as a hologram. Anyway, uh, hey guys, we're about to touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back in Blender, um, and we're making a uh, hologram type effect, which I think would be really cool. So let's say that you have a model that you want to use. Um, we can go ahead and make a cool little hologram that a hologram a hologram that pulses and flashes and moves around, which is really really cool. So I'm gonna hit delete and delete default cube here. Hit Shift A and just for today's example, we're gonna add in an icosphere because it looks really cool. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and go to the modifiers tab here and hit, hit add modifier. And we're gonna add a couple of things. Uh, wireframe first off. So we have that which looks nice. Uh, and then we're gonna add uh, two more things, which is gonna be two different wave. Uh, modifiers, but we'll just do one at a time so it doesn't get confusing. Um, all right, so the first one, open up my timeline, change start from zero, uh, and go to zero. All right, so I'm gonna change my frame rate to 60 as well. So on this second tab right here, change it to 60s just so it's you know, you know, it's fluid, which looks really cool. Um, I'm gonna go to rendered viewport shading here with our icosphere still selected. I'm gonna go to the material tab and hit this little button right here and grab this material. Change this from principal BSDF to emission. There we go. And change the color to like a nice color, like a bluish, whatever. Change the strength up just a little bit, maybe like five or something like that. And finally, we're gonna go to the main tab here and change color management from filmic to standard. So the color is proper. And then we can go ahead and uncheck our overlays, go to the world tab, change the color to black. And now we're done, I promise. All right, so now you can see what this is gonna do is it plays like this, which is really fast, which obviously we gotta fix that. I'm also gonna turn off viewport denoising right here so we can see easier um there we go but we can go to the material mo modifiers tab sorry and go to time and change the speed down so it moves much much slower something like 0 0.03 looks pretty cool to me the, the, also the height is too high because it's going up and coming down too far i just wanted a little tiny bit of movement like that which looks really really neat love to see it um but yes, 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 yes. I'm actually going to make my star frame back to one because I forgot we're using, um, I forgot that we're doing it like this. So I, I wanted to, you know, loop as much as possible. So I think if we put it on frame, what frame is that? Hmm. Let's just leave it on frame zero for now. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that up uh, in, in a little bit here. So um, what was I doing? Ah, uh, uh, yes. Okay. So I want to change the width as well. So we're going to make it do something like that, which looks cool, right? There we go. That's what I want. And we're also going to change the narrowness as well. Just a little bit more looseness in there, which looks really cool. All right now, cool, sweet. I'm going to downsize this wave and we're going to add in another wave in this wave right here. This is going to be the one that actually pulses. So we're going to check along normals. And as you can see, it's getting bigger and bigger and smaller and smaller. But we're going to fix this, obviously. We got to go to time and make it a little bit, you know, less uh, fast because that's really fast. So we'll put it like to point one or something, you know, and then we'll change the fall off way, way, way down. So it just does something like uh, like this, which is let's do actually point zero one. Is that still too much? Not enough, I'd say. That's fine. Do something like something like that, I guess. Yeah, it looks nice. And then we'll change the thickness of the original uh wireframe in the first place all right cool there we go so that looks really cool i'm gonna change our start frame to 500 um yeah there we go that looks really cool i like that quite a bit um uh, now what i do want to do is i want to go ahead and make sure that we have um bum, 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 bloom on so on the main tab i'll check bloom and that looks really cool now as you can see um but yes yeah, so let's actually go ahead and make sure that um, both of these are so you can see cyclic cyclic is turned on here which pretty much means it's just gonna loop but you can see it's not exactly looping properly um, if I were to you know do that you can see it's kind of it's kind of popping in and out let's undo the boom so you can see better it's kind of popping so we can fix this um, by going to the da -da -da -da, by going to the uh, time and offsetting the start and, and and whatnot and doing some weird things or we can just change the start frame in our scene um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back on 250 for the in frame and one on the start frame and then you can see it still kind of does pop a little bit it's not so much that it's really popping it's just kind of like the bloom is going away and then coming back so it's kind of like a dead giveaway but um but yeah I mean we can you can fix that like I said you can just change around the start frame uh, get it to loop properly or you can of course just have it animate 
longer and have this be longer than 250 frames um but we're not gonna worry about that right now that's that's not what we're doing right now but anyway like i said so we have this really nice um hologram like looking loop looking you know thing and this works with any material like i said with, with any model sorry so we're gonna grab suzanne here move her over uh rotate her a little bit double tapping r and then just add the same material to her same material and then hold down well turn our overlays back on uh grab the uh, icosphere hold down shift select suzanne hold down shift select the icosphere last hit control l make links to modifiers and as you can see the same exact thing works on suzanne which just looks really 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 cool i love this effect i think it looks really neat actually and it can be used for so many different things like i said it really does look like a hologram or some kind of thing like that now you can take this a step further if you want to by going ahead and duplicating this right clicking to cancel the movement and then deleting the wireframe so now it's like a solid kind of thing but what we can do here is we can go to the object, uh, the material tab, sorry, and then hit this little four button to change the material to make a, make a new material so that it is not you know, the same material so we don't override the one we already had. And then we can change the emission uh, color down like that, which looks like a really cool looking blueprint kind of thing, I suppose, as it were, um, which is really, really cool. So I'm actually going to select the wireframes as well, and then we'll delete the one that is actually growing, which is the second wave texture. I just want it to be like solid um where is it there there it is all right cool i think i deleted the wrong one actually oh no i think i might have deleted the wrong one that's fine hold on let's grab go ahead and undo that real quick that is the wireframe and then if i were to uncheck this one it's the it's out okay cool 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 all right and then i'm gonna go ahead and actually um change the thickness there we go of this bad boy so we can see it a little bit better there we go so you can see it kind of comes out like that which is really really cool i like i like this effect quite a bit like i said um very very neat very very neat um like i said we can add a little bit more bloom on this change the threshold down a little bit change the turn the radius up the knee down um, a little bit intensity up but like i said it's a very very cool effect i really like it two different kind of styles here like i said the one where it's kind of empty like a hologram or whatever and this one looks like a uh, blueprint kind of i don't know what that looks like but it looks really really cool and i really really dig it so i hope you ladies and gentlemen do as well i will see you in the next one but until then bye bye